This painter was born in 1834 in Termonde and was one of 11 siblings, one of whom would also become a famous painter. He first learned painting from his father at the Termonde Academy of Fine Arts. Thereafter, in 1853, he started studying at the Antwerp Academy of Fine Arts, where he became good friends with Lawrence Almatadema and Karl Ohms. In 1860, he finished his studies, obtaining a second place at the Prix de Rome, which allowed him to travel to Italy, visiting Turin, Milan, Venice, and Padua. On the way back from his travels to Italy, he visited his brother in Paris, after which he would shortly settle in Antwerp in 1863. In his first period, he would paint exclusively historical subjects with great dexterity and in a classicism style. He was truly an emblematic painter of the Belgian school in the early years of his young country. In 1864, he moved to Banche, where he married Stéphanie Bourbois. Together, they would later settle in Brussels in 1867. There, he would start painting genre scenes exclusively, under the advice of his good friend, Lawrence Almatadema. This would launch the second period of his career, where he would paint genre scenes in a romantic style, concentrating on elegant ladies in rich interiors, representing textiles similar to the ones he had seen in the ateliers of Alfred Stevens and even of his brother in Paris. In his third period, he increasingly emphasized his realist skills, creating a genre called bourgeois realism. These scenes would often be humoristic. In these paintings, his favorite subject would be mischievous children in luxurious bourgeois interiors. One would often encounter a red-haired girl in his paintings. This was Marthe, his daughter. Throughout his entire career, you could follow the growth of Marthe through his paintings. In 1880, he painted the Parade of Schools of 1878, which brought him great acclaim nationally and internationally, and to this day still hangs in the Royal Museum of Fine Arts in Brussels. In 1882, he started going to Haste on the Belgian coast, where he'd found new inspiration and ideas. The wide beaches along the coast were so inviting that he started to paint there on the spot. This would be the start of his fourth and final period, plenairism. Plenairism requires great dexterity and total control over fluid brushstrokes. He started painting local subjects of daily life that were typical to the Belgian coast, such as donkey rides. Indeed, the tram line would stop in haste, and whoever wanted to go to Knuck would have to hire a donkey to get there. In this painting, we of course recognize his daughter in 1885, in the dunes by the sea. The vast and deserted landscape emphasizes the power of nature, where earth and heaven become one. His nervous brush strokes also translate the movement of the clouds and wind. This painter is Jan Verhus, a Belgian painter of the 19th century. Vincent van Gogh would once write to his brother Theo after seeing one of the paintings of Jan Verhus, saying the following, the Verhus works well, it is a clever painting, and in any event, daring. With colors in the light spectrum and several fine combinations, including a figure in orange against light green, light blue, and white. 